How's it going guys? In today's video, we are going to be dyno testing our 1500 horsepower 427 LS. While we're running it naturally aspirated, in the real world, it's going to get a Kong 2650 twin screw blower with this absolutely gigantic crank pulley. I mean, it's just huge. So let's do a quick recap of this engine. It's a 427 cubic inch LS running an RHS six bolt aftermarket aluminum engine block. The core of this engine is a dark center counterweighted four inch stroke billet crankshaft with Oliver billet I-beam connecting rods topped off with JE Ultra 2618 pistons with 200 wall thickness H13 tool steel pins a gold thermal barrier coating, and a lot of other really trick, super nice stuff. The engine, of course, is running our 11 degree, 260 cc cylinder head, and is a really nice engine. It is nine to one compression, and the camshaft is designed for a positive displacement supercharger. This is a factory LS3 stock intake manifold with a 90 millimeter stock throttle body. And this is going to heavily restrict this engine's overall horsepower. But we still want to break this engine in, RPM it, make sure it makes clean pools so that we, we know everything is 100% accurate and correct. And then when the customers get it, they can install their positive displacement supercharger and crank the boost way up. So I'm gonna go ahead and plumb this thing with water. We'll get it fired up. We'll let it warm up the temperature, and then we can start our break-in procedures. I am using a Holley Terminator X EFI system with drive-by-wire electronic throttle body control to break in this engine. Once it goes into the vehicle, which I believe is a CTSV, they're going to use the factory ECU system. But so right now we can see we have great oil pressure, and basically we're just going to give it a little bit of a fast idle, let our coolant temperature come up to temp, and then once everything is good, we can dial in our idle tune-up and then just uh, start breaking her in nice and smooth. The engine is at full operating temperature now, so we can go ahead and start leaning on it and see how much torque and horsepower this engine's gonna make naturally aspirated. So before I show you guys the horsepower and torque numbers this engine is making, a few things I want you to remember. It's 9 to 1 compression with a very unique positive displacement blower camshaft. And we're also choking this 427 inch monster down with a stock LS3 intake and 90 millimeter throttle body. So currently on our second pool. This engine's making about 540 horsepower and 545 foot pounds of torque. I also only have 24 degrees of timing in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add two degrees to give us 26 total. And we'll do another pull from 3000 to 6000 RPM.
after adding two degrees of timing, so now we're at 26 total, this red curve is the new pool. So with just two degrees, you can see how much horsepower it picked up. And that's kind of a good sign that this is a very <laughs> inefficient combination because it's again designed to make a ton of power with a supercharger. So it's got a lot of quench, low compression, and an interesting camshaft that would never work for an NA engine. But let's go ahead and add two more degrees of timing. I'm gonna pull it to 6,400 RPM and we'll, uh, we'll see where she ends up. The red line is 28 degrees and the blue line is 26. So you can see that it's still picked up power everywhere and it's just starting to lay over nicely on the big end. And an Ashley aspirated engine that had probably 11 and a half to one compression and a really tight quench and a very efficient natural aspirated camshaft would only like about 25 degrees. So the fact that we're running 28 and still picking up power really shows you that this engine was never designed to go NA. But what we're checking for is a healthy break-in, solid oil pressure, and the ability to RPM very well so they can turn it way up to about 1,500 horse with a blower. All right, there you guys go. A quick and easy dyno video at the shop here at Smetting Performance. Leave a comment below if there's any engines that you would like to see us dyno here, and I'll see you all later.